I'm a minute early. I don't think that's too terrible. Just one minute early. I think by the time I get this computer set up, it'll be all right. That was quick and easy. That hardly ever happened. Sorry. <sighs> it's Makeover Monday. <laughs> and I have a plan. I have a plan. I may not follow through with it. <laughs> it might change as I'm going, but I have a plan. I've been working a lot on projects and I have a little less than two weeks for um, vintage market days. And one, two, I've got about four or five more to go. And I won't get them done if I have to keep starting them over again. <laughs> oh gosh, but that's okay. It's fun. I learn a lot of stuff when I'm doing this. <clears throat> okay, so tonight we are going to make over the wood round that I found at Turning Point Thrift Store Thursday. And when I picked it up, you know, I kind of looked at it and it was $4 and it's a small round. And I was thinking, mm, normally I wouldn't pay $4 for that size of a round. Um, I hardly ever, I try not to pay $4 for anything, quite honestly, but you know, it's not a whole lot when you really think about the cause. It makes it worth it, right? Sorry, it's trapped and everything. So <clears throat> I picked up the little round and, and it was pretty dirty and beat up and it had a picture of a lighthouse on the front of it with a little bit of a grassy area or sandy area. I don't remember the whole thing because I've sanded it now and I can't see it. I'm sorry. I had a couple pieces of walnuts and I think I had the skin in my mouth. So, um, I sanded it down. I don't know if you saw the video. And I'll link it once I'm done with all this. I'll link it together so you can see what it used to look like. And my original plan was to sand it all the way down to the bare wood. And then um, paint it, you know, and um, do something with it. So, I got it outside and I started sanding it. And I was amazed at how well it removed all the gunk in the picture. And so then I sanded down the edges, and I basically got, um, this is the back. It has a couple holes in it. I was planning to fill it, but I might not. Um, and as you can see, the edges are kind of sanded off. And then the sides of it, I sanded down a little bit. And then the front is right here. And I sanded down the edges of the front. And that's all I did. I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm going to chalk on this and then I will seal it so that it doesn't come off because this has got some sort of, I don't know what on it, some sort of coating. I don't know, but it's nice and smooth and ready for use. I really don't even think I need to wax it quite honestly, but see here the deal is if I chalk on this and, and it turns out I need to wax it. I can just wash it off because it's that smooth and, and um, it's been treated with something. I'm not sure what. I have a little piece right there where I did a little too much sanding. And so I'm going to cover that up with the bow because I'm going to embellish tonight. This is going to be a cute little Easter um, deal. And then I'll put a hanger on the back. It's pretty heavy. So I'll probably glue it and then staple it or something like that so that I can make sure it's really on there really good. Or I could hang something on there, you know, put a hanger on it. But I really want to have, I want to have a twine hanger. So, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, here we go. I'm going to um, go ahead and lower this down to the table so you can see all that's going on down here on the table. As we're going. Okay. Close your eyes if you tend to get dizzy and I'll let you know when we're there.
I'll have to let the computer catch up with me uh, to see if we're at the right angle. We are not, so I need to lower it some more. See what that does. And I think that will do. All right, so here it is. It's, it's smooth, it's a baby's bottom. I just love it, it's so smooth. And I think I'm gonna use these to make a couple little carrot tags. And this is going to be the design. Look at that bunny, look at that bunny. This is a 2020 um, transfer. I don't even know if it's still available. I'll have to check. It may have been discontinued, but look at the details in this bunny. I'm just now seeing it. The computer's taking a minute to get, there we go. See the details in that bunny? He's gonna be amazing. And I'm doing him in Storm. Where is it? I just had it. Oh, we're gonna do it in Storm. And then I wanna do a couple carrots on these tags. And I'm going to mix these two together because I want orange, but I don't want that bright of an orange. I kind of want to dull it down a little bit with the white. This is for the tags. So I think I'll go ahead and paint those first. Goodness gracious. So I'll go ahead and paint these really quick so they will be ready for... Um, Use will be dry and ready for use when it comes time. All right. I sanded it in it ahead of time because I had to do it outside. I expected to do a lot more sanding, which is why I felt like I needed to do it outside. But I did record it as best I could. I took my tripod down so I could set the camera up, you know, the phone up on the tripod, but it was so windy. I was afraid it was going to blow the tripod over and break my um, light and break my phone. So I decided not to put it on the tripod. I just can't held it with one hand while I sanded with the other. I'm just putting a little light touch of white on the edges. This one here is kind of rough. I should have sanded it real quick. There we go. And a little, there we go. Take the splinter off. So it was Monday. How was your Monday? Today is Monday. And did you have a good weekend? Yesterday was the first day of spring. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe. 2022 is almost... 25% over. <laughs> okay, so that's one. One tag. Now I'm not going to do any more. I just want to do one coat, just like that. I'm going to set it over here so that it's not on the table. I've just got it sitting on a bowl. I've got a paper bowl over there because I want to stain something that I started making. See if it improves it because I'm not happy with the way it looks now. <laughs> There's been a few projects I've made lately that I just haven't been happy with. And that happens. It really happens, but I tend to to make every effort I can to fix it before I give up on it. There we go. I 
need to dry. <laughs> I don't really need to paint this other side, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And my hands are already covered in chalk paint. <laughs> so I debated between using actual, like, you know, carrots that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I found some um, bottle brush carrots that are really, really cute. But I wanted to be able to glue them in place, and I didn't think it would go, I didn't think it would work very well with the bottle brush carrots. And then I was looking at the, um, the other carrots that I got picked up at Dollar Tree that are kind of wrapped with twine, and they were so bright orange, it's not the kind of brightness I wanted. So I ended up choosing to use these tags instead. That way I can put a carrot on, on, on each one of them and then I can glue the tag where I want them to sit on the um, on the round and they'll stay in place. Okay, so these are ready. And I am going to put a little surface wax on them. And when it's time to do the carrots, we'll do, it'll be ready. Got a little fuzz hair on it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, now these sides are ready for use. I gotta make sure I chalk on that side. So I'm done with the wax. And my hand. Needs to be clean. Well, I say that. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> Scrub my hand. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. All right. Well, if it's not coming off with the wipe, then it's not going to come off on the project. So I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so we need to cut these apart. This is what we call a cut apart transfer. This one is eight and a half by eleven. It is titled Cottontail Farms and it's from 2020. And I will have to see it, it says 2020 right there. And my plan is to put this, change this to two, so do 2022 instead of 2020. Um Surely I'll be able to pull it off. <laughs> My projects have been going lately, but maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> but see, that's the thing about it is, though, if it doesn't work, I just wash it off and do it again. So I don't have to worry about that. Now, this is the carrot I'm going to use. This, These are designed to work together so you can put the little pattern inside the carrot. But this is already white. These are already white. So when I chalk this, I want to get some green. When I chalk this, the orange is going to go wherever you see white in the pattern, right? So there will be, a, this will automatically be, you'll see. And if I feel like I need to fill it in, I'll fill it in. So we'll see. I may not need to use both. Because I would use white on that. And it's already white. 
So if that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. Okay, Cottontail Farms. And I don't plan to use my flowers today. Maybe the next time. But this round is a little small and I don't want to overcrowd it. So I'm just going to put those away. And I need to write on the back of this. Cottontail Farms. Now this says number one right there. Meaning that's the first one we use when we're doing these together. So I'm putting carrot one. And then this one says number two right there. So now I'm putting carrot two. And then established 2020. And then this one, I'm just going to put cottontail bunny. Okay. I'm doing that in case I continue to work tonight and I use another transfer that has the same size or similar size backing. That way I can make sure the bunny goes on to the right backing and we don't have issues with storage after the fact. Okay. So, um, let's do the carrots real quick. Since the, well, I gotta mix these. If I'm gonna do the carrots real quick, I gotta mix these. So, I'm going to do, this is orange peel. Look how pretty that is. And it's so bright. And then bright white. Okay. And I'm just going to take a little bit of bright white. I don't need a whole lot because it's just two little carrots. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit of orange peel and get this off the table. And mix it with the bright light. I want it to be softer like that. I have other shades like a guava, but it had too much of a pink undertone. This is more of a yellow undertone, right? So that's about what I want right there. And that should be enough for the two for the carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get carrot number one. I don't need my transfer trimmers anymore. And let's buzz carrot number one a little bit and put it on here. And I forgot I wanted to get a little bit of green for the greenery up there. And since I'm going with the mild colors, I'm gonna do sage. So here we have sage. I'm going to take a little bit of sage, put it on my leaf, like that, and then a little bit of carrot, and I don't even need to use a squeegee. I can just scrape it off with a stir stick and put it on the carrot. Look at that. Okay. Oh yeah, see? Perfect. Now, let's do the next one. Same thing. So if I'm going to put these like this, I'm going to do this one this way. Right about there like that. I don't want to do it the same way. <laughs> I 
trying to decide how I want to lay this out. So I'm going to lay it out this way. And I'm going to squeegee the leaves again. And it's just a tiny bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use a squeegee this time because this might not be stuck down here very well. So I still even put too much orange. There we go. So I'll set that aside. Peel this off. And there's the other carrot. Okay, now I'm going to put this back on the transfer for now. And I'll wash it when I'm done. So I'm going to put these over here. Close up my green. Sage. <laughs> close up the orange peel. And close up the white. I am done with these three. And then I'm going to spray this just a tiny bit. And set it aside. Now, these. First, I'm going to do the EST down here, okay? If I can get it off of it. So I'm just going to fuzz it a little bit. And I'm going to put it down here, right about there. And for the rest of this project, I'm using Storm. I think Storm is officially my favorite. And what I'm going to do is chalk this like this. Do to the twenty two oh two and then I'm going to do the dot and I'm going to peel it up. Okay, and dry that. and set it right there set it right there I'm gonna put this to right there Okay, 
We'll let in a little bit. Fill this in a little bit. And there we have it, 2022. some backing. Oh, I'll have backing. Never mind. So I'm just going to spray that a little bit and set it aside. Okay. I'm going to make sure this is dry. And next comes this little guy. So I'm going to take this and cover that. And then I'm going to place this guy I think I want him here. And then this is going to go here. it'll be safe for me to just do this. There we go. And I'll use a mini squeegee. Scraping it off. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Isn't that incredible? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love him, I love him, I love him. Wait that a little bit. Set it down there. Dry the bunny. and oh my goodness the detail it is incredible look at that it's gorgeous <laughs> okay now I'm having a hard time because this right here I feel like should be dead center but it doesn't matter because it's gonna be covered up so him being straight 
and this is like angled over to the side and it's 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 messing with my brain <laughs> it is messing with my brain okay so these are gonna go over here and I should get my Mod Podge and spray them really quick these are gonna go over here like this with the bow and stuff so I think I'm going to put Cottontail Farms over here a little bit, like right there, and then have these carrots hanging down um, from the bow that will be up here. So I don't want to just do that, I want to kind of do this. Okay. So I could do like this and then put these here like this and it'd be kind of angled. Cottontail farms like that. I'm going to do it straight. I don't really want to do it straight, right? Move it down a little bit because I know it's going to get covered up by the bow if I don't. And I've got to bring my bow maker in here. So I have to try to make something without. Maybe I should do a messy bow. Can you imagine weeding something like that through? I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have the patience to weed that much detail. This is a great tool. If you're a Cricut person and you loved all that weeding, this is a great tool to add alongside with your Cricut um, stuff, quite honestly. Because then you can have details like this without having to do all the weeding that comes with it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a little more um, straight, straighter than I wanted. But I think it's still going to be okay. I can do like this with the carrots. What do you think? I don't want to touch the cottontail pond because I haven't dried it yet. I think I like that. And I'll put a bow and then these will be hanging off the bow, but then I'll glue them so that they stay in place. And then the bow will be here and it'll, the ends will come, the tails will come down. I'm loving it. Can't wet this a little bit. Alright. Better dry that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now. People are starting to mess up about our meeting tonight. I'm going to have to keep closing that so that I can see when people comment. Okay. So now. 
Um, I've got this and these for here. And I didn't bring my bow maker, so I think I think I'm gonna need to go get my bow maker. spot where my bow maker normally is is not there so I'm going to have to make it without it wish me luck <laughs> I don't normally do this well without the bow without the maker well, so let's see I could do a little messy one I think I will. Let's do three of each. As a matter of fact, what I want to do is I'm going to dovetail these. Gosh, I am so constant. I'm concentrating. I'm feeling kind of quiet tonight, too. I don't know about you. But it's Monday, and I went to work, and I'm actually having to earn my paycheck. <laughs> I didn't just say that out loud. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been keeping late nights. Trying not to keep late nights, but I've been keeping late nights. It's catching up. It's hard. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's see. I'm just going to put these like this. Turn these over. And then put this like this. 
and then put these right here. Actually, I'll probably only need two of those. No, let's do three. I know. Okay, start again. X, X, middle. X, X, middle. I don't know. I don't I don't know where I'm getting this from. This is just something I'm trying. X and middle. Now do I have a twisty tie? Let me see if I have a twisty tie. I thought for sure I had a twisty tie in my drawer, but I don't have a twisty tie in there. So well, I'm just gonna use twine for now. That's what I have on hand. I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. Turn it over. No, that's not what I want either. Okay, so let's try this again. Let me cut those a little shorter. But for now, I've got them like this. I'm going to fold it in and then fold it like a, um, a fan kind of fold, you know, when you're folding your paper into a fan. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm pinching it and I'm going to wrap this around a couple times. And tie it on the bottom. A zip tie would probably be good for this. Oh, but I wanted a tail, didn't I? Do I want a tail? Do I need a tail? Because I was thinking about putting a tail that just kind of Let's not do a tail. No tail today. I'm not going to glue it because I want to spray this and seal it before I glue the bow on. So I'm just going to, I am going to glue those. Oh, but how do I? Uh huh. I didn't think this bow through very well. cut the rabbit ones shorter so they sit better on the on the deal and I am gonna do a couple tails <laughs> with these how long do I want to make the tail I guess I shouldn't have, um, I need my bow maker, <laughs> I need my bow maker, I'm such a sad bow maker, I haven't done this in a while, I kind of quit making bows for some reason, I don't know why, I quit embellishing with bows, and I shouldn't have stopped, so that's the halfway point right there. So I'm just kind of scrunching it together in the middle. And then I'm going to put it right 
here. And oops, turn it over because I want the polka dot side to stick up. So I want this to be on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie this down first. Make sure it's centered. Very close. Okay, so now it's going to be like, like this. And then I'm going to have these little guys. So I'm just running the twine through the Oopsie. through here, and then I'll tie them. So, these will be attached to the bow. I should make one longer than the other. So I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. There we go. And then I'm going to tie these down to the bow. Now I've got all this extra stuff here. That will go under when I'm, when I'm gluing it. It'll go underneath. This this will be our finished project. What I'll do is I'll I'm not gluing this now because I want to um, spray I want to spray this and seal it. Can you see it? Can you? And then I'll put the tags kind of like this. I'll glue them in place where I want them to be. And I'm going to trim these babies down a little bit because they're too long. See, I'll have to put a spot of glue. Oh, you know what?
I have all these buttons that have color and design, and I also have this. It doesn't have, ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So do I want that? Or do I want this? I definitely want the other one. It brightens it up, I think. So this will be glued down. These will come over here like this, like they're hanging off the ribbon, off the bow. And the tail will be um, done here so that they're not covering everything up. Just like that. And there we have it. And then I will hang a hanger on the back so it can hang up on the door um, or on the wall and then um, it can also be put I thought I brought bigger twine in here that's it there it is Yay! what do you think you like it if you like it give me a thumbs up okay if you haven't, if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up if you like the project. And um, it will be glued down like this. I'll put a picture when it's done. It'll be glued down like that so that it really shows on the project. Feel free to subscribe too as well if you like. That would be so helpful. And um, I'll put the, the link to the website will be in the um, description, bio, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure. I'm new to the, lang to the lingo. And, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you like it, just um, click on the link. And I will let you know if this particular transfer is available anymore or not. Okay, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.